In the summer of 2003, Jason Smith, a 32-year-old British soldier, left his home in the Scottish borders to fight the Iraq War. Jason was there to do valuable and important work. Work his mother knew meant the world to him. Jason flew to Kuwait, where he spent 10 days adjusting to the climate. The following week, Jason entered Bal Hamara, Iraq, where his battalion were defending the city from falling into anarchy. Under hellish temperatures, they slept in a shell of a stadium, known as an unbearable, hot, dusty hellhole. The men were at severe risk from the heat. Days were long and Jason began to feel unwell. Breathless and in pain, he visited the doctor often, every time given the same answer. Rest and rehydrate with no further treatment. He may have been saved if someone had intervened. Drenched in sweat and dust, the men stripped their clothes, pouring water on themselves to try to keep cool. Jason made it back to the stadium at 3 p.m. It was too late. He was found unconscious in the corridor. His skin was hot and dry. He was rushed to the hospital, where he suffered a cardiac arrest. It took 10 years for Jason's mother to know what had really happened that day. The coroner confirmed that his death may have been avoided if proper hydration and guidelines for the environment had been followed. Whilst the war raged on, the air conditioning units finally arrived at the stadium. They were two days too late for Jason, a lifetime too late for his mother.